let me just get to the basics of asserting values. Um, we'll see a little more about this and probably define some of our own assertion macros later. But essentially, an assert, a lot of people, companies use it as a way to debug, which is great. That's what it's built for. But um, one of the things I love about asserts is they just take a Boolean. If the Boolean's true, nothing happens. If the Boolean's false, then the program can crash or explode, or it depends on how you set up your assertions to go. Anyway, there's some built-in assertions with C++, just so I can demo them. And for doing these little assignments at the beginning, I'd like you to use this uh, assertion, simply because, uh, well, I'll tell you in a minute. I'm going to pound include C assert. And I said earlier, whether you caught it or not, um, let me just repeat for you. Asserts are macros. So if I say int i gets 5, and let's say j gets i times i, and then I'm going to assert that j is equal to, hopefully, 25. So if I run this, notice that nothing happens. Press any key to continue. Um, but just for tickles, I'm going to say j equals 24. Assert that j is 24. Well, this Boolean expression will, will return false. We're going to insert a false value. If we execute it again, we get some nice debugging information here. Let me get it up here so we can see it. So assertion failed. Look, it even gives us the expression. That's quite nice. And it says, in this file, cpp scratchpad.cpp, line 10, we had a failure. This failed for whatever reason. And we get something similar. Uh, in this in this window here, so I can choose to abort, uh, retry, or ignore. Um, generally, asserts will set up that you can ignore them. So hopefully, the assert is not fatal. If it failed, then we can keep moving on. Um, if it is fatal, then the the program just needs to crash and close, and we need to f address it and fix it. But if it's not an, a fatal uh, an assert, we can just ignore it and keep going. Going. Um, I'm not sure what retry does, to be honest. Retry. Yeah, okay, well, it crashes my program. You know, just for tickles, uh, let's run it again. And ignore. It'll keep going. Press any key to continue. Run it again. If I say abort, uh, boom. It, it, uh, you know, just for just for fun, let's, let's prove that it actually aborted. Um, I'm going to say continuing. And do an end line there. Run it. No uh, problem, so abort. And we see that that uh, continuing line did not print out here. Run it again, and do ignore, and the continuing line. So really, <laughs> I guess however the built-in C assert works, it just bombs the program. So we'll define our own asserts later that will give us some better options than that. But anyway, that's that's assert in a nutshell. It takes a boolean expression, allows us to do some testing. I'm going to hit F12 by putting my cursor on the assert function macro here, hit F12, and we can actually see the definition of assert. It takes an expression, it tests the, ex this is really uh, sweet syntax actually, it tests the expression, so if the expression is false, or it moves on and does some stuff here, this is how it generates the debugging information. Pound expression, again, we saw in an earlier video, this is the stringizing operator, so this is how it, it was able to show us j equal equal 24 in the console, it stringized the expression. Um, and then this is a macro that we can take advantage of with the preprocessor. It's underscore, underscore, file, underscore, underscore, and that gives us the file name of the actual file. And then line gives us the line number. Anyway, a whole bunch of stuff there. Nice thing about asserts, and we'll also do this with our asserts later in the course, we will have them compile out. Because this is really, once we know that this is all fine and dandy and this expression will never break, we, it's gone through enough QA and enough testing that we're comfortable with this assertion, well, we don't want to slow our program down by having assert sit there and every frame just assert, 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 assert. Because in games, especially large games, you'll get a lot of these asserts with large teams, and that's that takes processing overhead. So we want them to compile out, meaning just disappear. So going back to the definition of assert, if I scroll up, look at this. If uh, if end debug, meaning no debug, is set, then the, the asserts actually define to essentially do nothing. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. So it compiles out. The compiler ignores it. It's like it never happened. One other nice thing about asserts is they it's, it's a way for me as a programmer to, to say, I guarantee this condition is true. It's a way of me kind of ponying up and saying, I am a professional. 
I know that J will be 25 here. Uh, contrived small example, I know, but, but essentially it's, you can see it visibly in the code. You can say J, me as a programmer, I can say it to you, J is 25. I don't have to see out what is J's value and then Alt-Tab and visually inspect it. It's a way via code to say this is true. And if it's not true, blow up so I can come back to it. Which is nice because we want bugs to show up and get right in our face. Whereas if I did, just did a C out or write it out to some log file or something, it wouldn't be so in my face. In fact, chances are I would miss it um, or I could even ignore it. So anyway, th that's the basic intro of asserts. I probably taught you about 80% of everything you need to know. Again, we'll see more as we go forth and build our game engines.